Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth. Right behind me I have a new model from Jayco. It's a J-Flight 38BHDS. Before we do our walkthrough, let me show you my top three favorite features on this floor plan. Number one, it's got a sliding door with a screen. Number two, it has two bedrooms. A master bedroom with tons of storage and a second bedroom with a queen bed. And number three, the master bedroom has tons of storage, including a big closet and lots of drawers. Okay, let's go ahead and do a walk around on this. This is a 38 BHDS. We're 40 feet long and 8,500 pounds dry weight. So this is not a small bumper pull. You're gonna need at the very least a well-apportioned half-ton pickup truck to pull this. As always, if you're not sure if you can safely pull it, give us a shout or email us. We'll look up your specific truck. Make sure you can tow this safely. 40 feet long is the longest bumper pull that Jayco makes. As is often the case, we have pass-through storage that goes all the way through. These little guys here are little TV tray inserts that go into the cup holder of your sofa. Nice clean pass-through storage. Now we're on the main J-Flight line, which means it's not the SLX line, which is slightly less expensive. This is the regular J-Flight. We have much larger propane bottles. We have 30s instead of 20s that are connected together. A nice electric tongue jack that's lighted, which makes hooking and unhooking and leveling front to back a breeze. Diamond, uh, diamond plating up here to keep those rocks and stuff from chipping the front of the unit. This is the opposite side of the pass-through, which happens to be locked right now. So we'll just keep cruising around this guy. And on this back slide, we actually have an additional little storage compartment in here, which is under the whole bed assembly in the back. So there's tons of accessible storage from here as well as inside once you lift up the bed. Now always look at a Jayco. We have plywood under the bed decks, not particle board. There's plywood under the floor, plywood in the roofing structure. Plywood costs more, weighs a little more, it's a lot stronger. Jayco always uses plywood in those important areas. Now back here, we're kind of tight to the back of the property line, but I do want to show this. This is a 10-gallon water heater. So we're uh, typically you're going to get a 6-gallon water heater in travel trailers. This is a 10-gallon direct spark ignition, so it runs off propane or electric. That thing's going to uh, give you a lot longer shower with 10 gallons. So if you've got two guests and, and you may on this, since we have two bedrooms, nice to have a 10 gallon water heater instead of a six. 50 amp power, two AC units. So you're not gonna be anemic on power and you're not gonna have to worry about staying cool and comfortable even in the Texas heat. Let's walk around to the other side and we'll continue our tour. Okay, starting in the back on the fun side of the camper. That's the side with the awning. That's where the picnic table is. That's where the campfire is. That's where all the good stuff happens is on the fun side over here. We've got, gosh, I don't know, we're about an 18 foot long awning with an LED light strip. But before I go up there, we have electric stabilizing jacks right here. So when it comes time to extend these, just pop these down. I'm not gonna send them all the way down just to keep this video short, but these are electric motors that are gonna drop down and stabilize this coach. We have electric stabilizing jacks up in the front as well. We have a separate entrance into the master bedroom right here. So if you have guests up front and you want to access the bedroom directly from the patio, you can do that here. I would call this the secondary entrance instead of the main entrance up there where the sliding glass door is. Again, we have this nice big awning with the LED light strip under it. We have speakers mounted in the exterior wall. This is your, uh, your range vent right here. So uh, the cooktop has its own vent. So you can be getting those smells and heat uh, vented to the outside. This little bracket here is the same one that you'll see on the inside. It's called a key block mount. So you can take a television from the inside, mount it here. You have electric and coax cable hookups out here and have TV out here on the fun side on the exterior. This is our potable water fill. So if you're gonna go off grid and camp for a while without any water service, 
here's where you're going to fill up the fresh water tank. Now, a quick little tip that I always like to remind folks, there's no need to fill this up if where you're going you'll have fresh water supplied at your campsite. Otherwise, you're just dragging along water weight unnecessarily. I keep a few gallons in there to flush the toilet, wash your hands during a trip, what have you. Otherwise, there's no need to keep more than a few gallons in there. If you want to know the tank capacities, let me know. Uh, I don't have them committed to memory. Probably should for this video. Uh, tank capacities vary by floor model and in terms of weight distribution and depending on each floor plan, uh, both gray water, black water, and fresh water tanks will vary in size. So if you ever want to know those specific specs on a unit, let us know. We have a sliding glass door, which is very unique to this model. It's the only travel trailer we've gotten in actually ever since I've worked at Vaud RV that has a sliding glass door and a screen as well. So on those nice evenings where there's a nice cool breeze, you can close this uh, to the patio area and have a nice breeze going in and out of the coach. Let's go inside and have a look on the inside. Now we're on the inside of this 38 BHDS J flight. This is a big guy. We're right at 40 feet long, 8,500 pounds and a little more on dry weight. So not a small trailer. There's a couple things that distinguish this from really all of its J-Flight brethren. One of them is this sliding glass door. This is your main door to the coach. It's sliding door and we have a, a screen that we can pull across here on those nice evenings. This is very unique. It says, uh, gives it more of a residential feel, kind of like a park model feel. Anyway, this is still a travel trailer, but we have a sliding glass door. I'm curious what you think about the sliding glass door. Drop a comment below when you have a second. I'm just, I'm doing my sort of unofficial poll here. What folks think of the sliding glass door itself. Let me know, yay or nay. Um, in fact, while you're at it, if you care to drop a like and a subscribe below, I'll thank you for that. We work hard to bring you these videos. And if you have ideas for videos you'd like to see, drop a comment in the uh, below as well and we'll do our best to get to them. So appreciate you doing that. Now, also, in addition to the sliding glass door, we have two bedrooms. That's the distinguishing difference in this floor plan. Master bedroom uh, in the back and a second bedroom up front. Now you can order this unit with a bunk room up here in the front. So we would have mom and dad sleeping in the king bed in the back and up front we can have a bunk room. We opted to get this unit option with two true bedrooms. A lot of folks are coming in these days looking for alternative housing for a short period perhaps, or maybe you're gonna vacation with two couples and you want two separate bedrooms. This could be the answer. So queen bed here, king bed in the back. So, um, and even with that, we still have a nice sizable living area. Nice big slide here, a pretty huge dinette, U-shaped dinette here that also drops down into a bed. This is a freestanding table, so I can drop this table down and that becomes a sleeping surface. And I've got two recliners right here, right across from the TV. I always like to think about TV viewing angles. So right here I am across from the television and the fireplace, entertainment center in general. Right here I've got my recliners. So this makes a really comfortable TV viewing area as well as if you're sitting at the dinette, perfect TV viewing area. Now remember those little TV tray inserts that I pointed out below, they pop into these cup holders so you can have little TV trays, for a laptop, popcorn, beverage, or whatever, makes it real nice. Now, like I mentioned, we have a fireplace up here. This is a fancy space heater, okay? So not only does it look nice, aesthetically pleasing, it's a fancy space heater. So if you paid your 50 or 60 bucks a night in an RV park, you can use their electricity instead of your propane to knock the chill off of this. You can stream music from this Bluetooth capable radio and push that music through the speakers inside here or out on the patio, either one. This is an Insignia TV, nice quality TV serviced by Best Buy. And then we have smoked glass um, inserts in the cabinetry with a nice bit of storage up above here. 
little component uh, closet here if you want to put a DVD player or a game console or something like that if you want. You've got that room. We'll go ahead and hit this bedroom before we go to the back of the coach. I've got shirt hanging storage on this side and shelves over there. And then there's three little storage compartments up here. Actually, it's all one compartment altogether, but three doors to access um, the storage up above. Lights on either side of the bed, and you have power on either side of the bed for either a CPAP machine, charging your gadgets, or what have you. Now, there's TV hookups in here, so if you want to have a dedicated television in here, the hookups are right here. So moving up into the main part of the coach again, we have our living room kitchen combination. I like this countertop material because it's a molded piece. It's not laminate with the edge banding that is uh, notorious for popping off. This is all one piece. We have our drying rack and cutting board insert in the sink here. High rise faucet right here. This little guy is just to tie up your curtain on your sliding glass window right here. The little cabinet under the sink here, which gives you access to the storage as well as the plumbing if you ever need to get there uh, for, for any kind of maintenance issues. Great place to toss the shoes right here by the door. This little guy right here is your propane and carbon monoxide detector. It's a safety feature. Outlet right here and an outlet here. So if you want to have a coffee maker, maybe a toaster oven, you've got multiple access points for household electricity. Now, as is always the case with Jayco, these are solid maple cabinets. These styles are pocket screwed. The entire thing is screwed to the frame of the coach. That's why my 190 pounds can be supported by doing this really solid and that's going to be true with all Jayco products. This is the little TV mount that I was alluding to out on the patio. Um, so that bracket in there, the bracket out on the patio, it's a quick release. Take your TV outside and pop it on the wall. Then you have TV out on the patio side. Under the sink storage area and then full extension ball bearing drawer glides. I love these. These are 75 pound drawer glides, full extension, and again, solid maple facing on all, the, on all the drawers and cabinet doors. Cute little microwave oven right here, lighted range hood and vented, again vented to the outside. Three burner cooktop, this guy just folds back to become your backsplash. Speaking of backsplash, how about this backsplash material? You like it or do you like it? I like it. What do you think? Drop a comment below, but it looks real, doesn't it? But it's actually smooth. It's got a 3D look to it. It looks like tile, but it's actually smooth. Well, let me know what you think about that. Backlight controls on the cooktop here and a modest sized little oven below. A lot of people ask me about this if I don't point it out. These are your fuses and your breakers. They're all labeled so you don't have to wonder what everything goes to. If you have an electrical problem, an outlet's not working, a light isn't working, first thing you want to do is come check here on the breakers and the fuses. Another thing to check is a GFI outlet. If you have a GFI outlet in a wet location like the bedroom, if it's popped, nothing's going to work downstream from that. So another thing to check. So. Look what I have behind me. It's a residential refrigerator. Nice big freezer compartment and plenty of storage for plenty of groceries. So again, if you've got a couple couples and you're going on vacation, you can save on your food bill by filling this guy up with uh, all your grocery needs for the trip. And I got a storage compartment up above there as well. Now again, under each dinette seat here, this U-shaped dinette, we have storage here and storage there. No carpet anywhere, so starting in 2022, Jayco got rid of all the carpet, including the slide. So this is Shaw residential flooring. This flooring material is going to travel over the top of this when the slide comes in. Oh, 
wait, there's more. Check out this storage. Nice pantry shelf storage in here. So canned goods, cookies, bread. You can even use it for extra clothes, but really nice to have that extra storage right off the kitchen area here. Thermostat right behind the wall here. Now we're in the bathroom area. Again, abundance of storage, shelf storage, top to bottom, ceiling all the way to bottom. Um, we have a glass shower enclosure. By now you know I'm six feet tall and average build, there's plenty of room in here. Classy glass shower door. Um, I suggest keeping a little squeegee when you're done showering. Squeegee off these and they'll stay clean a lot longer. But notice there's a pattern, a textured pattern on the outside. So there is a little bit of privacy when you're in here. In case somebody opens that door accidentally. Pretty spacious bathroom though. I do have a medicine cabinet. Porcelain commode, not plastic. Foot flush, foot flush as always. Nice countertop material. Again, here's our outlet, and here's one of those GFIs I was alluding to. If that guy's popped out, nothing's gonna work downstream from this outlet, whatever that may be. So if that guy's popped, first thing you wanna do is reset that. Now we have, uh, like I said, medicine cabinet up here and some storage below. Passing through, we're coming into our master bedroom. I have a separate AC unit in here, which I'll turn down a little bit while we're in here. Now, king bed, lights, individual lights for each side of the bed. I've got power on either side of the bed for charging cell phones and so on, and an abundance of storage here to the back of the coach. So, pretty huge closet. And I can hang up lots of clothes in here. Then I've got three drawers here, three open compartments there, which just seem to be screaming for a wicker basket or something, or toss your shoes under there. I really like that. And then over on the other side, I also have two drawers here. Outlet up there as well. So if you have perhaps a CPAP machine, Perfect place for an outlet and a nice window that looks like back under the back side of the patio. Now if we lift up this bed, it'll have gas struts on it. Easy to do. And this reveals that area that we accessed from the outside. Tons of storage under here. So if I have extra blankets, camping supplies, linens, extra shoes, fishing gear, what have you, I can put it in here. If it's easier to get it to it from here, great or I can open that door from the outside and access it from the outside. If you wanna get creative and close that off completely, it's just a piece of plywood you could screw into that back portion of this and have a dedicated exterior storage compartment and a dedicated area in here that you can only access. It's up to you, but it'd be easy enough to do. Again, solid plywood, not particle board. All the mattresses on Jayco's are Serta, so these are Serta foam mattresses. Um, they're nice mattresses, I have to say. It's comfortable. I'll totally sleep on that. Uh, around the back here, um, this is the slide room switch and another one of those key block mounts. They're called key block mounts for the TV. So your coax and your power up here and the key block mount, I can pop the TV off here, take it to the outside. This window is thin shade prepped, so if you want to add a thin shade into that uh, assembly, you can do that, easy enough to do. They're inexpensive and super easy to pop in. Or you might just want to put some reflective foil in there and have it closed off all the time. It's up to you, your call. So, neat floor plan. Again, it's a two bedroom, uh, sliding glass door. We're 40 feet long and a residential refrigerator, all in a J-Flight floor plan. Skylight, fireplace, nice big TV, recliners. This checks a whole bunch of boxes in the J-Flight floor plan. If you'd like to come out and look at it in person, we'd love to show it to you in person. So uh, give us a call, email us. We'll be happy to get you hooked up with one of our great sales guys. Again, my name is Mike here at Vaud RV. I appreciate you joining me. Tune in here next time when we do another walkthrough a lot like this one. See you next time. How do you?
everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.